Happy Friday. It's a beautiful day to be alive. I, um, gosh, I, I, this morning I, um, I've been doing all my routines. Uh, so, um, you know, washing my eyes and, uh, God, I, I, I can't tell you how remarkable I feel after doing these enemas, man. This is like, uh, I got, I'm doing this every morning now because it's unbelievably fantastic. I mean, first, you know, rubbing it all in my body and then cleaning out the insides. It's just so awesome. <laughs> I just can't encourage you enough to consider uh, these practices, you know, the, um, the whole process, drinking your pee, uh, drinking it through the nose, washing your eyes, you know, rubbing it all over your body, um, and uh, doing the urine enemas. It's just the bomb. It's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's all about uh, rejuvenation, you know, which is kind of the theme today. It's about rejuvenation and adaptation, and it's a vital force because when we do the adaptation to this uh, modality, to these therapies, you're going to find rejuvenation. You know, I've been reading about this in um, Man, the Unknown by Dr. Alexis Carroll. Now, Dr. Carroll does not discuss urine therapy. He doesn't discuss breatharianism. He doesn't discuss any of those things. He is really a medical doctor who discusses the physiological nature of being and it's pretty deep it's pretty heavy like i you know i'm just rereading it for the second time like i mentioned yesterday and you know i can only take it in small doses but um i'm getting better at uh, getting the uh gist of what he's conveying you know and i realize that each time i'll uh, when i do reread it I'll gain more knowledge each time, like every other book I read. And that's the whole thing. It's just about educating ourselves and understanding what it is that we're doing and why. And once you understand that, once you have your head wrapped around it, once you're in the practitioning of it, you'll see why. You'll feel it. The rejuvenation is real. I really do believe it is the fountain of youth. I do believe that urine is the absolute honest cure-all. It is the miracle um, elixir, you know. And what's beautiful about it, it's, it's natural. It, it's free, and it's full of stem cell energy, and it comes right out of our body. And no one's ever died from drinking it, and there's no side effects. Now, how can you go wrong with that? Now, the allopathic method is just to give you prescriptions. That's it. They don't give you any guidance. They don't tell you how to get better nutrition. They'll tell you to stop smoking, maybe cut down on your drinking. But, you know, they're not telling you to quit eating cheeseburgers or, or steaks or, you know, uh, all the condiments you're dumping all over your food and all the spices you're eating and, and all that stuff because they really don't really know. And if they do know, it's not part of the protocol to tell you so. And that's really kind of sad. That's the pathetic truth about, you know, our um, allopathic uh, method to uh, medicine. Because it's not about healing. None of it's about healing. It's only about treatments. And just as long as we can keep you alive and keep treating your symptoms, well, we're going to sell you more drugs. And, hey, if you get side effects, which you're bound to get, we got drugs to handle the side effects. And this is where people get trapped because they have boxes full of medicines that they've been taking to counteract the side effects because the real effects aren't doing anything to cure the problem. There is no rejuvenation going on at all. And that's really sad because here we are in supposedly the most advanced you know, country in the history of the world and we've got all the you know, wealth and riches and all of this, you know, hype about what a great country this is. But we don't take care of people. We don't treat, we really don't treat the sick. We don't help cure the sick. We just, you know, keep moseying along, taking drugs. 
and continuing the bad habits that got them in the place where they needed the drugs. And if we really, really, really want to cure ourselves, we've got to take more control ourselves. Because if we rely on the system that's in place, it ain't going to happen. You know, you have to really take control of your body. It's important. If you let somebody else control your mind and think for you, guess what? They will. And if you let somebody else control your body and, and uh, you know, take responsibility for you, uh, well, they will sort of, you know, because uh, it, statistically it's not proven that you're going to um, have the best experience with that. You know, the uh, epidemic right now is overdosing. You know, it's a huge epidemic in our country and people are overdosing on pharmaceutical drugs, you know, as much if not more than heroin. You know, taking this, um, you know, because they, they're so um, addicted to them that they can't get enough. And it's like, you know, like a junkie trying to find a vein. You know, you just keep taking more and more and more until the point. I mean, people actually OD on aspirin and die from aspirin. Isn't that something? And so, you know, what we're doing to ourselves is basically killing ourselves really slowly with what we drink, what we eat, you know, the drugs that we take, the lifestyles we live, the cities we live in, the pollution we breathe, you know, all these things are just, um, you know, slow deaths. That's it. Now, the only thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'll be 64 in a month, is that, that, that really actually turned my life around. And I'm talking about chronic pains that I've had since I was young, in my, t in my teens, in my childhood. I've had problems with my body my whole entire life. And for the first time ever, ever, I feel awesome. Totally awesome. My body does not deal with pain. I don't have any pain. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not having to deal with pain. Yeah, you know, I'm not taking any painkillers, not anymore. I'm not doing any of that because I have cured those problems. I cured my arthritis, bursitis, tendonitis, my degenerative discs, my COPD, my sciatica, my excessive cramping, all of it gone, gone. I'm no longer addicted to cigarettes or alcohol, you know, coffee, you know, sugar, salt. I am um, still working on my food addiction. This is, uh, you know, what I'm working on. But I'm getting ready for my next fast. Um, my big fasts uh, are coming uh, sometime in the next uh, few days. So keep your eyes out for that. I'll repost the fast in the Uranus. <laughs> That'll be part three. And starting over with day one, and we'll see how that goes. And um, but I'm excited because this last fast um, went really well. I went 13 days, and um, I when I came back off and started eating again, I managed to cut out all the cookies, the crackers, the snacks, and the um, you know hummus and chips and dips and all that. So I didn't include any of that when I started eating again. So that was a big step. And uh, we'll see how it goes the next time. Um, but I am excited. <laughs> and I feel awesome. Really awesome. I've never felt so good in my life. I can say that with absolute honesty. I've never felt so good in my life. And every day just gets better and better and better. I'm, I'm so excited really excited. And, you know, I'm um, starting a couple other treatments, you know, the turpentine thing. I've incorporated that already. And I'm getting this um, other product that I'm going to also incorporate. Some people suggest that it's awesome in your, uh, in the enemas, in the urine enemas. And um, so I'll see, I'll see what it is all about. But cleansing is the key. That's what I'm looking for. I want to clean my body inside and out from all of the debris, the toxins, and the parasites. That's my goal. And be a, you know, totally walking, talking, clean machine. <laughs> and why not, I say. <laughs>
And believe me, if I can do this, anybody can do this. I am not an exception. I am just part of the process. So, you know, if anything I'm doing inspires you, fine, you know. But remember, it's all upon you. It's your duty. It's your job, not mine. <laughs> so um, I wrote a new poem. Um, I wrote it last night. And it's entitled Rejuvenation. And uh, here it is. Rejuvenation in human beings is totally possible beyond our dreams. Adaptation is a vital force, and it is a function to stay on course. Stem cells rebuild us, and it's in our pee. So our fountain of youth is totally free. Rejuvenation, it's a reversal of time. And it happens to humans who drink urine like wine. The golden elixir, a sacred gift. Drink your own water and feel the shift. When you adapt, the function is clear. Just drink your own water. And the magic appears. <laughs> And it does. It really does. It's magical. I feel like a kid. You know, I really do. I have all this childlike enthusiasm and joy and wonder and uh, curiosity. And every day is like a whole new learning experience. I just feel like I'm being blessed. And there's so many great people out there in the urine therapy and in the turpentine and all these groups, you know, that you show and shower so much love and, and genuine uh, presence. And for this, I am grateful. So thank you for being you. I love you very much. It's really an honor. It's really a privilege to know you. So with all that being said, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, marvelous day. And boom! Ha! You've just been loved. <laughs> Bye now.